Hi guys, today I have Kai's solo debut album. It is a self-titled album. I'm so excited. I have all three versions right here. I believe it's X, no sorry, Y, X, Z. I think so. And this one right here is the flipbook version. There's also the jewel case versions, but I don't think that has actually released yet. I'm not too sure. But anyways, let's get into it. I actually really like the whole look of his album. I love it. I don't know. This strap thing is really cool. I was getting really excited when I first opened it out of the package because it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, as usual, I have these K-pop market 01 freebies, but we'll only go through one of them. I guess the freebies are a little sneak peek on what's to come in the photo book. Okay, let's get into it. We'll do this one first. Super excited. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but this is my brown table. I'm at my parents' house today because it's Saturday and you know the people that live above are going to be extremely loud today because they're all home. So I decided to come to my parents' house. This is so cool. Okay, let's take this off. Ooh, that's really cool. It's super stretchy. So I guess that band holds everything together here. This right here kind of looks like the Irene and Silgi monster bass note version. And this, let's go through this part first. Super excited. Ooh, oh wow. Very cool. So yeah, I feel like the packaging is very similar to Irene and Silgi's bass note album. Like the bass note version of monster. Ooh, how do I go through this? Okay. All right, I'm super excited, but I think the photo cards may be in here, so I'm going to take them out. Yeah, the cards were in there, so I did take those out. Ooh, let's get into the photo book. I'm super excited. Yeah, his album was so good. Even like before it released, I was saying like, I know this album is going to be great, and I know that his title track would be great, and I really liked it. It's very R&B sounding, and I think it suits Kai really well. And I am glad that he was able to showcase his vocals more because I know he's a pretty underrated EXO vocalist, or a vocalist in EXO. And um, I'm glad that he was able to showcase his vocals more. And this album was full of bops. I love it so much. When the track list comes up, I will point out my favorite tracks. But I am in love with this entire album. It's so good. Yeah, I just, I, I'm not even really shocked, to be honest, because as I said, I knew the album was going to be good. He is an SM artist, and I usually tend to really, really like SM artists besides. Look how handsome he looks. I hope the photo books will be all different, but I'm pretty sure they will be. It's looking like they will. Ooh. I feel like the photo shoot for this is kind of creepy, but I mean that in a good way. Yeah, it, I think Irene and Silgi did do this in the bass note version too. I think so. I'm guessing this is going to be lyrics. So I will point out my favorite tracks. I did have like one ultimate favorite. This one, Nothing On Me. That one's my favorite. So, so good. Definitely listen to it, but listen to the whole album. You won't be disappointed. I really, really liked this album. This one's good too. Ooh, oh wow, this is so creepy. Ooh, I really like the way they designed this. It looks really cool. Ooh, I like this one too, Ride or Die. That one's good as well. This is so creepy, but I, I as I said, I mean that in a really good way. Oh, Hello Stranger is good too. That's also one of my favorites on the album. So good. Please give this album a listen. I feel like it was kind of like... Not as hyped as like Baekhyun or someone like that, or Taemin obviously, so definitely give it a listen. I think it was really, really good. Here's the CD, but we still have more photo book to get to. Here's the CD. I love the design. I think they went all out for his solo debut, and as they should. Yeah, he definitely deserved this nice high budget. Also, let's talk about the little like hint they gave in his music video like it showed the symbol of like Shumin and Kyungsu oh my gosh like I have a feeling because SM has been doing that a lot lately where they kind of like hint at comebacks 
that are to come in the future in like other artists music videos like in super m they hinted espa and then in um espa they hinted boa you know so i feel like in this they're hinting at a shuman solo and a kyungsu solo maybe i'm just super excited also um it was so cute baekhyun and uh jungin like watching his music video on the exo channel <laughs> so cute i love those two this was definitely an anticipated solo debut i knew he was at at one point going to make a solo debut i mean of course when he mentioned that he was going to make a solo debut when he was with super m um, but even before that i'm like i know he's going to one day make a solo debut that's super cute but also kind of creepy this whole photo book gives me like really creepy vibes but as i said i don't mean that in a bad way like i really mean that as a compliment okay so and this is the track list i really like mm. <laughs> another mm, you know treasure made a comeback with the same title but just like wrote differently in english but yeah um yeah <laughs> i really like both so we have that. It also comes with this right here. I have not seen any unboxings. So this has the Comca sticker on it. That's the track list. I guess I should have shown that at first, but we've already seen the track list. Okay, so it's just... Oh! Oh my gosh, it's all posters. This reminds me of the BTS album. You know their um, 7 album? Map of the Soul 7. Okay, let's just start in the middle here. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but, um, okay, so, yeah, let's, okay, I need to make sure I keep these in the right order, too. Wow, this look is so, like, kind of cool, but I don't know what to think about it. It's very western looking. Wow. Okay, I need to make sure these stay in the right order. Oh, wow, he looks so good. I wonder if anyone else has unboxed it like this. I don't think this is bad. Cause... Oh, okay. This is... Oh, I see. It's kind of annoying to unbox, but I'm not going to complain. Ooh, this concept, though. This is literally me after a full day of work. <laughs> this is so funny. Why does he look so good? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about this, like, poster section. Because unboxing it's kind of a hassle. But these are really nice posters. I will say that. <laughs> this. So we, we've, like, seen all these pictures already in the photo book. But, um... Ooh, sorry. I'm, like, distracted by how handsome he is. So, yeah, I think these photos were basically already... Oh, this side. Did I show this side? I don't think so. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Now we have the Jongin abs. <laughs> I knew those would make an appearance. Because he has a really nice body, so might as well show it off. <laughs> I feel like he either has like, he has like two sides to him. Like the really cute like ninny bear and then like the really intense like charismatic i just stopped because there was a plane going by but um yeah or i feel like he's he does like super dark concepts and really creepy but in a good way <laughs> Ooh, i love this photo of him oh my gosh he looks so good this reminds me of super M kind of like concept for dropping I was always wondering though, like, when like Taemin and Baekhyun have to enlist, like, what is gonna happen with Super M? Like, they better not like replace them with other SM artists. I won't like that. <laughs> I, yeah, for some reason, I just won't like that. And same when Jongin enlists as well. It will eventually come. <laughs> so sad. Okay, so we kept that in the right order. So let's bring everything out. What is this? Oh, stickers, okay. Oh wow, that looks so creepy. Oh my gosh, that looks so creepy. Like that filter is what makes it creepy. Yeah, this is so creepy. He pulls it off very well. Um, oh, there's another one, I missed it. What is this? It looks like, oh my God, it's his face. This is like next level creepy. 
but I, that's not an insult. Please know that. <laughs> okay, and then we have the SM ad. Nice personalized one. And the photo card, the thing I'm most excited about. Here's the back. Ooh, very cool. Interesting what he did with his signature. <laughs> so that's the back. I believe there's three types per version in this one. I got this super cute one of him in the glasses and suspenders. That one is so cute. Binan and Kai. Shining Kai. So cute. All right, so that is a very long message. <laughs> Okay, so that is that one. I will be collecting the cards too because I collect everything EXO, so I need to have them all. Next, we'll go through this one, the either X or Y. I have to double check. Um, but yeah, this one is the creepiest cover, if I'm going to be honest. This whole picture of him, even when it first released, I was like, that picture is so creepy. But I love it. Front and back. And there's no real spine. Which kind of sucks because I really like seeing the spines of the albums on my shelf and this one you can't really see it but it's fine. Okay so let's save that photo book thing or sorry poster thing for later. We'll go through the ooh going through the photo book sorry. So yeah this would have arrived like a couple days ago but I like when it arrived oh wow that is um very nice but yeah anyway so when this arrived or the day I thought it was arriving. It was like when I was at work all day. So I was like, I'm gonna redirect this so I can pick it up at the FedEx location. Hold on, let me take my cards out. But yeah, I'd rather pick it up at the FedEx location so I don't have to worry about it sitting outside my front door all day. And normally I wouldn't really worry about that, but when one package of mine recently got stolen off, I don't really have a porch. I just say off my front porch, but it was like outside my um, front door. It got stolen and ever since then I've been so nervous about packages sitting outside all day so I decided to like go online and like have it redirected to the pickup point but I didn't realize that it was like delayed when you do that like they they make it go back to Korea and then like I don't know why they do that like can't you just like drop it off at the pickup point why does it have to go back to Korea for you to I don't know <laughs> it's just really annoying so then I regretted doing that because then I picked it up today, which is Saturday. And then it would have been delivered to my house yesterday because I'm home all day on Friday because it was like super delayed. It was supposed to arrive on Thursday when I'm at work. Then the delay with it going back to Korea and then them redoing it in their system or something to make it go to the pickup location. I don't really know where I'm going with this, but they ended up delivering it super late yesterday on Friday So I had to pick it up Saturday morning, which is today and it was just like <laughs> I'm never doing that again. I didn't realize that it there was an extreme delay um, Yeah, I didn't realize that there was an extreme delay When you reroute it Okay, so yeah, we've seen the um, lyrics I believe it's all the same yeah, sorry, I kind of like skipped through that because I'm pretty sure it's the same. Not sure. Oh, the CD does look the same, but just in case, because I can't really remember if there's any slight changes, but I think it is the exact same. So, sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> okay. And the other half here. But I'm really glad that I am at my parents' place because, yeah, I just know that they're going to be really loud at my place because last time I tried filming on Saturday during the day they were so loud because the people that live above me have kids and they're really loud like extremely loud it's really unfortunate that they have kids because of that reason it wouldn't bother me too much if I wasn't someone that needs to film and likes peace and quiet but yeah it's just kind of annoying but it's fine sorry I don't mean to complain in this a really bad habit of mine is complaining about random things in my unboxings and I know it's really annoying to hear so I will stop that now. I'm sorry. I, I've been trying to work on it and I just realized now that that's complaining so I will not do that anymore. Ooh, is that a Mercedes Benz? Of course it is. That. <laughs> Why did I say, is that a Mercedes Benz when duh, of course it is. He looks so cool in this photo shoot. I also like that you get two concepts in one version and like he did three versions and they're all different concepts i love that so much 
Like that is how you do it, the three different versions. Okay, so that was, ooh, that was that. And the fun part, this album unboxing is going to be so long because of this. Okay, we need to find the middle here. And here we go. This unboxing is going to be so long because of these posters. Okay, it goes this way. I mean, I really like the idea. It's really cool. It's just unboxing it takes extra long. Oh my god, this photo of him. That's like one of my favorite in this Gucci belt. That is so cool. I think he looks the best in this photo shoot right here. I love the way his hair is styled. Although this hat thing is really creepy. I don't know, It's. I think it's just the hat that creeps me out. And then that one photo of him where he looks like he was like flying in the air or something. <laughs> Yeah, that that was really creepy but very cool at the same time oh yeah we still have the flip book version to get through <laughs> i'm sure that one i'm not sure if it's actually going to be a real flip book like i just flip through it like the pictures change slightly on every photo i'm wondering if that's what it's going to be <laughs> Just posing in front of this huge Mercedes-Benz truck. Not truck, van. Whatever you want to call that. Damn, he looks so good. Ooh, I love the purple sky in the back. That's really cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure if the... I'm pretty sure the... Uh, sorry, not flip book. What am I saying? I'm pretty sure the jewel case versions do come with cards. So I will be getting them. Yeah, I have not seen the cards for it yet, so I don't think it actually has released. And also, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an, an unboxing of them. If you're interested, let me know. Then I will. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to be anything too interesting. Like, nothing we haven't seen already. Ooh, the water photo shoot. Like, I just have a feeling it's going to be all of these same photos. But if it's, like, totally different... And there's different set of cards, then maybe I will. Ooh, the water photo shoots are really cool. <laughs> this reminded me of when Shiny danced. Um, what, which song was it? I think it was Everybody in the Water. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of for one of their concerts. Okay, so this is the photo that really creeps me out. I just don't know why. It's just really creepy. He's like floating in the air with that creepy hat. That was that, and let's bring out all of the stickers. I think they might be the same. Nope, they are different. So there's that one. This one. Oh no, it looks the same actually. Oh no, they are the same. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And the SM ad and the photo card. And, oh, the message is different, which is cool. Oh, so cute. He looks so adorable in this too cute so that was the photo card now we'll go through the Z version there's the front this photo shoot looks really cool I love the colors in this one Ooh, so cool I love his hair like it looks bright blue Move that to the side Ooh, so cool damn that looks really cool I love the bright colors. Wow, very cool. Everything was right here, like, oh my gosh, okay, hi. Before it was like all like in between the photo books. So yeah, <laughs> all right. Anyways, damn, look at this. Oh wow, that looks really cool. I love this one. His hair, it's green. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of what Taeyong's hair looked like when he performed with Sylvie at, what was it, like, what was it, the MMAs last year, I think so, or was it the year before? I can't even remember. I literally can't even keep track anymore. Damn. His hair. Oh my gosh. And these, like, neon colors all over his body. That is so cool. Ooh, I really like this one. I had a feeling that this one might be my favorite photo book just by looking at the outside. Yeah, I just really like the neon colors. Oh my gosh, this looks really cool. Look at him. He has such a nice body too. Like, yes sir, show it off. 
Also, his dancing skills, always amazing. Like, even better for his solo debut. He really impresses me every time I see him. Yeah, I'd say he's like one of the best dancers. Damn, he looks so good. I'm like kind of shook, but I shouldn't be. This is Kim Jong-in. Okay, yeah, this is the lyrics. And the CD. Okay, this is definitely different. The CD, uh, I think it might be slightly different, like with the way the image is here, but I'm not gonna take it out fully. It looks like laser beams and you have to like go through them. <laughs> Which photo book is your guys' favorite? Uh, I I'm like debating on maybe this one or one of the other ones. There was one photo shoot in the other one that I really liked. But everything is really good. I feel like it's very Kai. Like this concept really suits him. And I also think the R&B sound really suits him as well. And it suits his voice. And I just feel like this was a really, really, really great solo debut. Super impressed with it. If you have not listened to it, please check it out. It is so amazing. These poses though, they're like very sexy. <laughs> My camera is like flicks sometimes like my iphone is like one of the older models i have an iphone 8 so i'm not up there with everyone else in their iphones but um i don't mean to talk about iphones in this unboxing but i don't like the way the newer iphones are like it's much different than the 8 and you know um but the reason why i brought this up is because i have an iphone 8 so that came out quite a while ago and so i feel like this phone is going to give in any day now, so yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. Okay, that was the photo book. And lastly, we have the posters. Oh my God, this is 30 minutes already. 30 minutes. It wouldn't be so long if I didn't have to go through these um, posters, but it is still worth it because wow, these photos, oh my God, so pretty. I love this look on him. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. I wish the posters were all horizontal. That would have been much easier to unbox. Like, all this way. But it's fine. I will do anything for Jungin. Ooh, oh yeah, this hat thing. <laughs> not, not sure how I feel about this hat, but I do like this sweater thing he's wearing. <laughs> I like his style very cool. Ooh, this looks cool. He looks really badass. Okay, his hair is looking like Johnny's hair, like it is right now. <laughs> and uh, this whole time I thought Johnny's long hair was his real hair, but apparently it's hair extensions, which makes the most sense, because yeah, how would one's hair grow that fast? <laughs> There's no way. It just looks pretty real. Like, the hair extensions. I'm sure it is real hair. Like, I have hair extensions and they are real hair. Like, it was someone else's hair. <laughs> I don't know if that's creepy, but yeah, it was someone else's hair, but I bought it. <laughs> I don't wear it often anymore, though, just because, yeah, I would always wear it, like, when I go out, but I have not been going out lately, so... Or, like, when I film videos of my face, but lately I have not been doing that lately, because... I've been feeling super self-conscious lately, so I haven't been doing my monthly updates as you can tell. I kind of miss doing them, but also another reason is because I just don't have time. Sorry, I don't mean to talk about myself in this unboxing. But I'm late with this anyways, so if I was like the very first person to unbox this, I would not, like most definitely would not talk about anything else. I probably would run out of things to say to be honest, but if it was just about Kai, because like, there's only so much I can say throughout the super long unboxing. But um, yeah, I def since I'm like not one of the first, I definitely like think it's okay to talk about random things. <laughs> All right, this one is the very last photo. I feel like going through the um, posters was kind of loud, like the crinkling of the photo or the posters. Not sure if it was super loud and annoying. Let's go through these. 
Eh, I can't. I feel it's no, they. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think some of them are the same. And SM add photo card. Here we go. Which one did we get? Aw, how cute. I like that there's writing here in all of them. Oh, this is the devil card. I got the devil card. I didn't even notice the devil horns here. Oh, I love this one. This was one of my favorites. That is too cute. Okay, very lastly, we'll go through the flip book. Here it is. It's super thick, so I have a feeling it's going to be an actual flip book. Let's, oh, sorry. Oh, there's a photo card in here, I forgot. Oh my god, everything, everything went flying. I don't know how that happened. I have to pick that up later. But I did take everything out. Oh wow, it comes with a CD inside. Okay. So it's just the flip book version, I see. I'm glad that SM released this at the same time because like, I don't know, like lately they've been doing, like releasing things at different times, like Red Velvet, um, uh, Irene and Sylvie Monster, and then the NCT latest albums, like, Okay, should I just like do like quick flip throughs like this? Yeah, it's not like a real, oh, no, okay, yeah, so it's not like a real flip book. I guess it is. Oh, it does seem like it is. So maybe I should. Maybe I should do it like that. Let's start from the back. Okay. Oh, I should do it from the front, sorry. It has to be from the back, sorry. Oh, it doesn't work because my... I mean, it does kind of work, but... Oh, I'm going way too fast. Oh! Did you see that blurry pic? Wait. Oh. <laughs> wow, okay, so you're definitely supposed to flip through it. My flip is so bad though. Okay, I guess that's like all I can really do. Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. Did I do enough of the ones at the back here? <laughs> My flip is so bad. Anyways, okay, and then also we didn't take like a proper look, but we don't need to see the lyrics because we've seen the lyrics already, but Okay, that was the flip book. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of a disaster. Okay, I had to go pick these up because they went flying when I took them out of the album, but they do come with these really nice postcards. So here's this one. And there's this one. It's vertical. Oh, wow. Very cool. And last... Oh, sorry. Nope, that was the only two postcards you get. And you get another SM ad. Very lastly... Okay, I need to pull my sleeves up. Very lastly, oh, how cute. He drew a little bear. It's like representing himself, I guess. That is too cute. Which card did I get? Aw, oh, how adorable. Why is he so cute? Okay, so those were the cards and everything. I mean, that was this entire unboxing. I'm not going to bring like the albums back, just the photo cards. That was my unboxing of Kai's solo debut album. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye.